Back on Forza Horizon. That guy's on a couple. It's Tomcat. Tomcat, stop hitting things. We are back on Forza Horizon 3, and we've got a wheel spin, so I need the thing to pop up. Or do I just pause it? Can I go on the wheel spin from here? Can I just do this? Yes. Progress. Wheel spin. Give me the wheel spin. I want to see what we get. Or oh, give me the rally fighter. So that will go nicely for the sand dunes. I would not mind that. You're going to give me 15 grand. 30 grand. Now you give me the two times multiplier when it's a small one. Oh, yeah, of course you bloody will. Anyway, so we're heading to the next event. There's two more events for us to do in this area before I believe we actually unlock the next thing. Nice, Mr. Cameron Mines. Is it Mines? You've arrived at your destination. What is it? Oh, it's speech. I know. <laughs> Let's try it again. This time with a bit more speed. I thought it was going to be an event or something. That's the only annoying thing with it saying, obviously, that you don't know what type of event it is. You just kind of... Well, there you go. 131. How was that? That's not too bad. I mean, I could do better. I could go in the Sylvia, but anyway. So I got two stars. That's not too bad. I need something a bit, a bit quicker. I own 2,000 fans. So we've got one more event to do, which is the last event, and we should then be able to progress on the next thing. So let's pause the game a little bit and go over to the event over here and get it done. Let's go. I honestly, like, I just noticed some... Oh, wait, before we do that event. One thing I've noticed about the Yoris, obviously, it has that new technology where if you go to the cockpit, you can see on the wing mirrors, they're basically cameras. Now, it's all well and good. Like, I understand the concept of it because it makes the wing mirrors basically smaller, but they just look really tight, like tiny, tiny ears. I just know it looked really weird. Like, if you got it onto the actual main body of the car, then it makes sense. But I don't really understand it other than that because the screens are heavier than, well, I don't know, the screens are heavier than the, the little mirrors We easily. I don't know. It, it, uh, maybe there's a proper explanation for it. Somebody can tell me in the comments, but I don't know. It just seems a bit silly, really. If they were built into the body of the car, like the, the frame uh, of the window, that would be perfect. Wouldn't you agree? I don't know. Then again, how they're going to look behind. Not on the back <laughs> window frame. But we're back here in another exhibition race with the Eurus. Let's see how we get on. This time, we should be able to do it first time because I ain't gone prat around. Let's go. Take the drop. Oh, my God. We're going to mount somebody in a minute. Sorry, Cameron. Palmy was actually considering using the Range Rover at the beginning, like, as one of the choices of the vehicles, because if we did, we'd actually be able to, well, take a Range Rover off-road, which is something Range Rovers never really do. So we'd want, we'd have one less abused Range Rover in the world. Except it's the game, so it's not really the same thing. If I bought a Range Rover, it would be off-road most of the time. By off-road, I mean... Probably go on the grass somewhere because I don't know where to go off road in the UK. <laughs> if you had areas like this, you would just literally fling it across easily. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't bother with roads. Nobody would bother with roads at all. Everybody would just be cutting across someone's back garden every time. I, out back. What do you mean, out back? I mean, out back in my garden, you knobhead. Not over fucking Australia. There's going to be new people joining this series, obviously, because the game's coming out. And obviously, if you're joining us, thank you very much. Uh, but you're probably reading the license plate and thinking, what does, what does a no bed mean? Why does he have no bed? Oh my god, look at the jump! Come on! Yes! Ah, now I'm playing bloody Need for Speed Rivals. <laughs> it doesn't mean I have no bed, because I actually bought a bed. It was very expensive. It wasn't that expensive to come out here, but like, I just moved out. And it's very, it's, it's very expensive to buy things like that. You go, oh yeah, I need a fridge. Oh yeah, I need a bed. Oh yeah, I need a sofa. Mate, it adds up and I've cocked that up, up on, oh, cocked that one up on site. But yeah, it doesn't mean no, no bed, it means no bed. Don't worry. Oh, for God's sake, your rest. Take it gently. There you go. The only annoying thing with the checkpoint races here, like, if you did that, if you have rewind off, that's going to muck you up massively. Like, some of them are just very sharp. And they, it doesn't give you any indication that you're about to take a very sharp corner thing. So, anyway. Here we are towards the finish line now. This is the final checkpoint before the finish. I can see the finish over there. Give me the holy dollars for finishing this race, please. Uh, and we should be able to unlock the next area, which I would not complain about. That Yoris looks dirty. All these SUVs look dirty. The way they should be. Good. That's how it should be, mate. It's nine grand for that one. That's actually a lot more than we earned the last ones. But uh, yeah, I'm liking the progression a little bit more on this one. But it's still very, very quick. Like quick. I'm almost level four straight away from like that one race. But uh, the, the main point is I'm getting money very, very quickly. There we go. The fans are here. It's like going up in subscribers. Oh my god, that's what you're doing. You're going up in subaroonies. I love it. So, let's go. we now got a festival expansion. Is it going to level up our current one? Or does it give us another area? I'm not too sure. But, but we'll find out. You see, this is my predicament. This would be perfect for videos on 
normal street cars, but we've already got an asphalt, a normal a road area, asphalt area. I was right in the fucking first place. We're going out back. We're going out back. I want to go in the desert. That's the biggest change in this game. 37% of the players only chose this one because they're all knobs and they don't want to drive on asphalt. You've already driven on asphalt. Just drive on, on sand now. That's what I want to do. Oh, look at it. And I get the airfield as well. You don't get that. I do. Head back to the Byron Bay Festival. Okay. There's something special waiting for you in the auto show. What? Don't give me a car. Don't give me a car. Do no, 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 no. Don't give me a car. Just like me upgrade cars. Don't give me a car. Because I want to make a rally monster to take to that area. I cannot wait. I'm so pumped. Like, I'm, I'm really excited. Like, it's been a while since I've been excited, like, to unlock stuff in games. Because I've played a lot of the games um, multiple times before. So I already know what's going to be unlocked, that kind of thing. And we've been playing the same games for, like, the longest time and you get the festival now playing the music because we're close to it. Mate, this is absolutely awesome. I'm so excited. He's beeping hey at me. Jeff, how, do I, how do I beep at him? I'm beeping at him. Hey Jeff, oh, oh skill points. Is that like a flight down. attendant? Can you please, but like the flight attendant voice thing, not the actual flight attendant, so it don't sound festival. like this. So the first thing we have here is the drone is the only thing we can unlock, but we're going to have a look through. So we've got Hot Lab Fever, PR stunts will earn you extra money. Uh, daily double, so your driver's house finish double credits, so that's easier to get money. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to look through a lot of these and pick out like the good ones. So going through all of these, you can see, if you look quickly over them, some of them all unlock cars, like special cars. We've got the Mini Cooper S, we've got uh, the Gallardo, and we've also got the Bentley Continental. But the majority of them literally give you XP boosts and money boosts. If you don't want to have them, you, you probably don't have to have them, which is good. Uh, I'm going to put them on, because why wouldn't you put them on? But... It's just money stuff. That's good. It doesn't make the gameplay easier, which is good. Well, it does because you get cars faster, but yeah. But yeah, let's click on that. Unlock the drone. The drone needs to be in my thing. Like if I don't get the drone, I'll be I'll be mad at myself. So it, it splits out like this and that's how you unlock it. That's pretty cool. So that gives you again uh, extra credits. That gives you extra credits and that gives you more horns. So I'm probably going to go for extra credits. But let's get out of here and carry on. Yeah. Am I convoying with him? Start a convoy with I think him. I'm convoying. Yeah, I'm convoying with them. Can I follow them? You'll learn skill chains faster. Ah. You can also challenge your convoy to a race. Just bring up the Anna menu and select... Okay, so that's pretty cool. I, I was just listening in. I was like, no, okay. Driving a uh. X Xbox? X... I get... Well, shit. There we go. We're back. And it's put me right in the HQ. Don't mind if I do. Right. What did you want to tell me? Enter festival? I don't know. Uh, right. Uh, oh, no, no, no. We've got everything here now. <gasps> We've got the auto Can show and the auction cars, house. The auction cars, house! Custom cars. Stunning paint. Jobs. Yes. Some big buyers and sellers here. Yes. Look around and see what catches your eye. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're gonna go on hot deals let's see on hot what's on hot deals so we can get some nice deals in here so we've got bidding and buyout i'm really interested to find out how this all works so let's see we've got the bmw m4 coupe in there for nine thousand is the highest bid currently and the buyout is 60k the good thing is not many people are on the game yet because i'm a cheaty knob so i can just go in here and purchase some people's cars for very very cheap and make them very upset in the fact that they just did, you know. Oh, there's Dr. Tom's car in there. So the highest bid is 50k, buyout is 200k. This is really cool. Okay, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a bid down just for the sake of it. I'm probably not going to win it, but I'm going to put a bid down on the BMW because I want to. Look at that nice color as well. So let's place a bid. Can I increase the bid that I want to put on there or something? No, I can't really do that. But uh, yeah, let's let's put the bid on it of 10,000. There we go. Placing your bid. Please wait. So I'll be interested to find out like how much you can sell your cars for and that kind of thing. It would be pretty cool. Uh, you can buy it out, but you have to keep checking back. Ah, that's a little bit annoying. What I'm hoping is that you can have like the mobile app or like the Forza Hub like app thing. So you don't actually go into the game, but you can actually increase the bid if you want to. That would be cool. Like they need to make a mobile app. That would be useful, because otherwise I'm going to have to pay 60k for this BMW. But how much is it to actually buy that BMW? The 60k sounds like normal price, if I'm totally honest. So if I go over to Forza, uh, View All, that's a good idea, View All, and go over to the BMW, what the cock? Oh, hello, that was, I didn't realise what the, oh, they will know my looks cooler in the garage. Uh, bloody hell, go over to BMW, took me a while. Holy crap. 
Uh, what's that? That's free as well. All right, cheers, mate. Uh, what we're going to do is go over to... Oh, why am I going back? You need to go forward, your bell end. There you go. It costs us 92k. So if we bought it out, we've bought it for basically half price as well. That is awesome. And there's the M3 E92, which is not my car. I mean, I've got the 325i, which is cl close. So we could we could get that and basically have my Bimmer. But I'm very happy that the other M3 is there as well. I'm very, very happy indeed. And even the little Isetta is here. And the Bugattis are there, which nobody really cares about. And we got more we got more race cars. There's a hell of a lot of cars in this game, as you know. I'm not going to go through all of them because you probably know them. And there's not much. But oh, hello. Hello. Now, upgrade heroes. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I'm assuming it means there's body mods for these cars or something. So we're going to go through here and find what there is. But that's not my guess is. There's body mods for them. Like, good body mods. Because I know... I know the 458 has Liberty Watt kit, which we're going to put on. We know that as a, well, Rocket Bunny, I think it is. But they've got the bloody Jeep. Willy's Jeep has got upgrades. So there's actually a heck of a lot of cars in here with upgrades. I thought there was going to be like a small selection, but honestly, it looks like there's a heck of a lot of them in here. <gasps> oh, we got my favorite Subaru, which costs 110,000, which to be honest, is probably accurate. Because if I was to buy one in real life, that's how much it would probably cost. We've only got the GT86. Oh, no, they've got the BRZ as well, I was going to say. Now, what I'm going to do is buy the BMW M3, the one that I... Well, the model that I know, the E46, because I absolutely love this. We've got one design, which I'm not, I'm not putting that on. Now, this is possibly... Okay, I'm going to say this. Possibly the only car I would ever, ever, ever consider buying in silver or gray if you will because it just it really suits it in my opinion i'm actually going to go with like a darker one but that looks freaking amazing but yeah it's like the only color that i'd actually buy in this color any other color i can't really think of that i'd like like blue would be pretty cool but it doesn't really suit colors massively well uh i think like it suits probably uh probably white and gray best so we're gonna go with the gray buy for 30k it's cheap as chips it's cheap it's cheap as chips oh sim simmer I've got the keys to a brand new Bimmer. How could I turn the opportunity down to buy a BMW when it has body mods apparently as well? So let's explode it. Implode it. I didn't really, I was actually in the hood to go up and everything. But uh, and now if we go on to the garage and then we go on to, uh, what are we going on? Upgrades. Go to preset body kits. We've got a rocket bunny. Holy, we've got a rocket bunny. Oh my god, what? Need for speed. Where, where is this at? Where is this on need for speed? I want this on need for speed. <gasps> oh, I knew I had a wide body from the multiplayer trailer, but this is incredible. Oh my god. I am throwing that on. It brings it to S1 straight away. Holy shite. That is fucking incredible. Going into custom upgrade now. Go over to the spoilers. That's the only thing we can change after, but we can put the Forza wing on because anyone's actually got... To be fair, it doesn't actually look too shabby. But then we got the BMW spoiler, which looks wrong, and we got the stock one. So I'm actually going to keep the Rocket Bunny one on because that looks absolutely incredible. Can't do anything visually other than that, other than the rims, which is actually what I'm going to go and do because those rims, although they look cool, I actually really like the stock ones on there. I might keep the stock ones, but going through... I would change the color if I did. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I just realized it's got the tire text. Can we not change that, though? Oh, that's a bit annoying. Maybe we can if we go in here, maybe. Uh, no, we can't. So, literally cannot change the... Oh, wait, no, we can. We can take it off, but there's only one type of tire compound, and it's the race tires as well. So, if I wanted to make a drift one with tire text... You can't unless you're like some pro that really wants to put fucking street tire. I don't know. Anyway, going through these rims, I want something that's pretty similar or pretty... Be oh, that looks so cool. I wish we could do like separate rims, front and rear. But again, can't really do that on Forza just yet uh, in the series. But I could go with anything. This car really suits anything now that it's got the wide body on there. That looks absolutely magical. Uh, I, I do want to go with something classy but drifty at the same time, if that makes sense. Honestly... Those look cool on this car. They really do. I wish I had a few more spokes, though, honestly. But so far, those are the best. So I'm actually going to apply those. 
and then go through and I'm assuming the basket will like oh wait these are even better <gasps> oh I'm going with these I don't care I'm going with those uh, then if we back out and change the rim size can we actually change it oh my god we can make them even bigger <gasps> that is beyond ridiculous I think they're big as, as they should be if we put it up one and see what that looks like yeah even that looks a bit too big so they'll keep them as they are and then the front tire width I'm actually going to bring it massively down because that's a bit too too big and then bring the back ones down as well a little bit to about there now again I want the text on the tires but I don't want those tires I want it to be a drift car which is really frustrating because oh, I don't know I, I just wanted a bit of both aspiration conversion can we put turbo in there yeah we can throw a turbo in there so I'm going to throw the turbo in there but the body kit options drivetrain options and engine swap so I'm assuming it's got the stock engine, which is good. We could put a V8 in there, but I'm not going to do that. Sorry, Bill. Upgrade the intercooler before upgrading the actual turbo. And now we'll go to the actual engine. I don't want to spend massive amounts of money because, again, I want to buy some other cars as well. But I think that will pretty much do exactly as I need. So let's wait. One more thing. No, we need suspension mods. They have put brakes on. Oh, look at the brakes. Yes. We've already got suspension on. We've already got the sway bars on. We've got the roll cage in. No, we haven't. Should we put a roll cage in there? Nah, let's not do that. Weight reduction. Throw in the weight reduction. We're already on S2. It's our first S2 car. Honestly, I should... Pr no, I don't know. To be fair, I might actually just do S2. S2 it makes sense. Because uh, we're going to be upgrading the options here as well. I'd assume that those were already done, but they're not. Uh, right. Honestly, I, because of how like low in the class it is, I'm going to try and bring it down... Uh, to S1 again, to the top of S1, because there isn't much point it being an S2 if it's right at the bottom of S2. Brought it to the very tip top of S1. Right, install those mods. As you can see, the time saved actually putting those mods on like individually and it not loading while doing that. It's, it's made up there, but that's not too bad actually. It's not too bad at all. But here she is, our wide AF Bim Bimmer. Look at that. I didn't know Liberty Walk actually made a wide body kit for the M3. I would probably have bought the M3 if if I knew that. Now I couldn't be able to ensure it, but it looks absolutely beautiful. I honestly really, really like that. Probably, like, I could probably have, like, the thickest tires on the back. It would look even cooler, but honestly, I don't give a damn. That thing is really... That thing's got to scrape, mate. You're going to scrape. Anyway, let's drive this thing. It's been a while. I don't think this was in Forza Horizon 2, this vehicle, was it? Very specifically, this vehicle. I don't think it was, but... Yeah, we got text on the tires, which is already spinning that quickly, but we can't actually read it, but... Doesn't matter. We're going off-road 100 miles an hour because we're in Forza Horizon. Yes, mate. Okay, Sim Simmer, let's see how you slide with these race tires on. And unfortunately, race, race tires. But let's see how it goes. Oh! Well, you can tell it gripped up a little bit, but I did kind of just throw it and power. Like, not. I should have been controlled, controlled it a little bit, but you know what? I don't care. It's Forza. I can hear that turbo, it's amazing. Let's try and get this slide going then. So probably going to have to stay in first gear to get this thing to slide properly because of the, the tires we've got on. But we're not going to be able to slide properly, like extend the drifts out. It's, it's wheel spinning a lot more than you thought it, it, I thought it would. Honestly, what we could do, can we tune while pausing like on the other games? Uh, yes, we can. Go to the tune and then if we go straight to the diff, we just absolutely smash that diff locked, then that should definitely, definitely help us out a little bit. But we could also do a little bit of toe angle, that kind of thing. I'm not really making a proper drift car of this yet because, well, I don't really want to just yet. But I'm very happy that it's in the game. I'm very happy that it's got a freaking Liberty War kit. Can we, can we get an amen for that? That's absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, Turn 10. Thank you so much, Playground Games. Adding a Rocket Bunny kit to what is one of the most... I, I just realized, hopefully there's actually still the GTR kit. Or something similar. I'm hoping. Anyway, I think I'm going to round off this video here in the Bim Bimmer. Absolutely amazed that this car is in the game and it has a rocket buddy kit block. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and let me know down in the comments what you want to see me build. Because we're going to start doing builds. I, w I would have released builds before this. A long time before this. But I'm getting videos ready in advance. Because you get the game. You don't, you don't play it late, do you? You play it as soon as you fucking get your hands on it. So leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next Forza Horizon 3 video. Peace.